Hi, my name is Liz and this is the pink lookbook. In my video about the Longchamp Le Pliage bag, I mentioned that they have a repair service and after the video quite a few of you reached out to me and asked me to try the repair service. And then after that video I looked at one of my favorite Longchamp bags. I carry it a lot and you can tell there are quite a few parts that are damaged. You can tell that this uh, bag had a very intense life. And then I thought this is actually quite a good reason for a video because you want to learn more about the Longchamp repair services. This bag badly needs some maintenance. And then I thought I'd just give it a try. Just as a side note here, this is a non-sponsored video and I'm just sharing my personal opinion and experience with you here. And as I mentioned, this is the piece de resistance. This is the bag I'm going to have repaired. I use it quite a bit because I carry my laptop in there, all the charges I need, makeup bag, whatever. And you can see it. You can see the damages at the corners. They are getting bigger and bigger. I'm actually worried that they might say it is already too big, but let's have a look. Because these are the typical damages that people encounter with the pliage bags. I thought this is quite a good use case and went ahead and contacted Longchamp. I went to their website. They have a sub website for Austria and a contact form. And I just wrote a simple email explaining that I own a pliage. The corners are damaged and I would like to inquire about the repair service. I sent it off, got the typical automated email and thought, okay, it's going to take at least a day until I hear back from them. But already half an hour later, I had an answer from somebody from customer services in my email box, which I found very positive. Of course, they explained that this damage may occur because of the rubbing against the fabric at the corners. But they also said that they can offer that I come by to a boutique, leave the bag there and use the repair service uh, for free. But they also uh, mentioned that the damages can only be repaired in case they are minor damages. So I'm quite curious what's going to happen with that bag uh, once I bring it there, if these corner damages are minor or not. I followed up this email immediately because I wanted to get a rough estimate for the time period needed for the repair services. And again, I got a prompt reply. I think it was within minutes, which is very positive again, even though they could not answer my email. They were quite nice again and said they can't uh, answer my question, unfortunately. And I need to talk to the representatives at the boutiques because they have more information on the repair services. So after this I decided to give it a go and went to the boutique. This is now a few weeks later. I just came back from the boutique and good news the bag could be repaired. So let me quickly tell you what happened. I went to the nearest boutique and I have to say it was quite a pleasant experience. I was welcomed and then the sales assistant told me she needs to check the bag before sending it to France because if the damage is too big she unfortunately can't send it because they probably can't fix it. So what they usually do is they use a pen and then they see if the pen fits through these holes at the corners and at one corner the pen could actually fit through. So she said she can't guarantee that this bag will be fixed but she wants to try it and send it to Paris and then we will see in six to eight weeks when the bag comes back if it was repaired or not. So she asked me if I was okay with this that I may send it and not have the bag for several weeks and then it comes back not repaired and I said look this bag is relatively old I really want this fixed so I'm fine with sending it and even if it takes six to eight weeks and they can't fix it at least I know. We quickly filled out the repair form. Uh, they also tried to find my bag in the system, but in the past I very often did not register the bag or I didn't buy it using my account. So they could not find the bag. I also did not remember how old the bag was. I have to admit it's a very old bag. So honestly, I didn't know anymore, but uh, none of this was a problem. We filled out the form together with some estimates. The sales assistant also checked the bag for the serial number. And then I received the confirmation, this repair confirmation via email. And this was also the confirmation that I needed to bring when I picked up the bag. The bag came back earlier as I mentioned the estimate was six to eight weeks so I expected either this time frame or maybe even a bit longer it came back four weeks uh, after I left it at the store if we want to be exact it was 30 days after I left it with Longchamp let's take a look at the bag as I said it could be fixed and I was really surprised because the sales assistant initially told me that one of the holes might be too big so I was really surprised so you can see all the corners have been fixed and even if you look on the inside 
uh, it actually looks quite nice it looks like a new bag so I would not be able from just looking at it that this has been fixed. I was positively surprised by this because after leaving the bag at the boutique I did not really think that they could fix this big damage but uh, obviously they could. What they could not uh, repair were the scratches on the outside but we actually never really discussed this and I also knew that these scratches on the material outside could not be fixed. It was quite funny because I got this confirmation text message that my bag would be uh, at the boutique uh, for me to pick up and when I came there I did not know could they fix the bag or not so I presented the confirmation email that I got when I left the bag then one of the sales assistants went to get the bag and then she opened that package and I said oh I'm really curious if they could fix it and then she said usually when I see this kind of like flower on the paper we know that it was repaired and then she pulled out the bag and it was actually repaired. What has changed is the size of the bag. I knew about this because I did some research beforehand where people online said the bag will be refolded and that's why it will be smaller. Also Longchamp informed me that during our email conversations and also at the store so I was okay with it. So before that the length was 45 centimeters uh, the height was uh, 35 centimeters and the width was 23 centimeters and now it is roughly 43, 26 and 22 centimeters. I do have to say I don't know where exactly Longchamp measures the bags but I measured it uh, according to their description so I hope I did it right but it is significantly smaller. I use this bag mainly for work things so I carried my 13 inch laptop in it and it is still possible to put this uh, laptop in there. It fits perfectly maybe I have to take out one or two other things but I'm actually fine with this. This whole service was free of charge they only needed my signature to pick it up and in conclusion if I look at this the whole process from contacting uh, Longchamp via email and then bringing it to the store picking it up again the repair service I have to say everything went very smoothly uh, their answers were very prompt they were very nice in explaining everything they also informed me about the risks of this repair service and the bag came back earlier than expected and the service was free of charge so considering the Longchamp price points and then this service I have to say I have to give 10 out of 10 points for Longchamp. And this is a non-sponsored video. I just wanted to share my personal experience here because after my other Longchamp video some of you asked me to try out this repair service so I did some mystery shopping for you to just uh, show you how it actually worked out. So in my case it was quite a positive experience. I always try to repair old garments and accessories. I don't like throwing these things away so I appreciate it when companies offer repair services especially when it's a repair service which is for free like in the case of Longchamp. Longchamp is often criticized for using nylon for their bags but as I said in my other video they now use recycled nylon for their bags and also this repair service is a step in the right direction in my opinion. So now I'm curious about you. Have you also tried this Longchamp repair service and what was your experience? And if you enjoyed this video I would really appreciate it if you could give it a like and if you could subscribe to my channel. If you want to read more fashion related articles you can head over to my website thepinklookbook.com and you can also check out my fashion label Pelagona. And if you have not seen it yet I have done another video about the Longchamp Le Pliage where I explain everything you need to know about this bag. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next one.